In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to take a flat 2D image and transform it into an epic 3D animation. And you'll also learn how to create a mind-blowing animation from scratch inside of After Effects and make it 3D. Plus, I'm also throwing a crazy trippy transitions that you can do in any videos, all using this single plugin right there that you can get for cheaper with this discount code right there that will take $5 off your order. And, and with no further ado, we're going to start with the installation of it. Once you install the plugin, this is the file that you will have. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply copy it and you're simply gonna have to search for your After Effects in your search bar right there. Right click on it, open file location, then click right click on this one and open file location again. Once you're there, what you're gonna have to do is scroll up to scripts, then you're gonna have to scroll up to script UI panels and you're gonna have to paste it right there. Alright, I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it. So once you did that, what you're going to have to do is simply open your After Effects right there. And you're simply going to have to click on Window. Scroll all the way down till you see the 3D5 Pro option. Click on it. And you're going to have this window that will pop up. Now what you're going to have to do is um, simply drag the name and place it somewhere where you feel comfortable working with. So I'll just place it right there. Now what I'm going to do is simply show you an example on how you can turn any images into 3D. Let's say that you want to convert this image into 3D. What you're going to have to do is simply separate the different sections so what i mean by that is simply separating the foreground which is our subject from the background so what i'm going to do is simply click on the select subject button right there and this is going to give me a, a rough selection and what i'm going to do is simply adjust it perfectly here we go now what you can do is simply copy the selection then paste it into another layer like that now to simply delete the subject from the background to leave it empty you're simply going to have to make a rough selection around the subject. You're going to have to click on generate to fill and simply wait for it to be completed. And this is what it will give you. And if you don't have this option, don't worry about it too much because you can simply select your subject, right click and click on delete and fill selection. It's not as clean, but it works. So I'm going to simply keep my generative fill layer i'm gonna merge it with my background and now as you can see i got my background and subject separated now what i can do is simply go back to after effects and i'm simply gonna import my photoshop file where i separated my images i'm importing into my timeline and i'm gonna double click into the composition to have access to all of the layers now you already know how it works when you're trying to create a 3 scene normally you'll have to click on new then you have to click on camera then you'll have to create a null layer, a null object. Then you'll have to parent it to the camera. Then convert every layer into 3D. Then simply just do all of this long stuff, which actually takes a lot of time and makes your workflow really slower. And now essentially what you're doing is just animate the camera. So to avoid all of this boring stuff, I created this plugin. And this is where it comes in play. All you have to do is simply create on the create 3d and camera layers and as you can see the 3d scene was automatically set up in one single click and you can also animate it with a with a null that was created automatically it works just like magic now as you can see i'm just doing a little simple keyframe animation and as you can see in a matter of seconds i already have a 3d animation with no effort now for the second example what we're gonna have to do is simply create a whole entire scene outside of after effects and then converting it into 3d so the first thing that I'm going to do is simply import some assets right there. And I'm just going to place it around my composition. So I'm going to start with a background. Click on the create 3D camera option and as you can see everything I converted it to 3D. So if I go to two views, this is what I get right now. So the room size, what it does is simply making more room into the 3 space. So if you want the layers to be really far from each other, just drag it up like that. And if you want the layers to be really close from each other, drag it down. Okay, I'm going to put them really far away so the animation can have a lot more depth. Now, let's say if I go to the camera shake option, what it does is simply add some shake to the overall animation and the shakes are pretty realistic. You can also change the values like that. I'm going to simply put it down a little bit like that. That's perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is simply position 
my layers accordingly the way I want them to be okay and as you can see it's really easy like I can just play around with them make anything I want and now you can simply select the camera controller that is right there it is the first node above the 3d camera and you can simply make your animation create your two keyframes and I'm simply gonna go like that you can simply select all your keyframes click on f9 and then create a graph and this is how the animation looks like it really took me like at most two minutes to create and also you may notice the expand layer option and what it does is self-explanatory kind of so let's say you really zoom away like that and your layers will essentially cut off so what you're gonna have to do is simply select the layer that is getting cut off for my case it is the background I'm simply gonna select it and then click on expand selected layer and it will just fix it so so yeah that was the second example and let's do an example with videos now so in this example we'll test a video so essentially what I will do with with the plugin is a simple infinite zoom effect that we often find in music videos so as you can see I got my two clips right there and I want the infinite zoom to happen in this window right there so what I'm gonna do is simply select the first clip duplicate it and then I'm gonna click on time I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna click on time then freeze on last frame then I'm gonna cut the parts before the last frame and what I'm gonna do is simply select this and select what I'm gonna do is simply select it again make a pre-composition and make sure to click on move all attributes to new composition click on OK now what you're gonna have to do is simply pick the pen tool make a selection where you want the, the transition to happen now what you're gonna have to do is simply click right there click on mask then check invert it now essentially what you're gonna have to do is simply copy the layers as many times as possible the more layers there are the longer the infinite zoom will be so I'll just keep it simple not too much so I'll leave it as that now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on create 3d camera and layers simply make an adjustment like that all right now what you can do is simply start keyframing it all and make sure that the camera pass through the window until the screen is completely black Now simply select all your keyframes, click on F9 to ease them, and now what you're gonna have to do is simply create a graph for it to look smoother. Okay. And now pro tip, just simply select everything by clicking on Control A, and add motion, blur, and add some motion blur everywhere. This is what it gives us. As you can see it was really easy to do and to make the transition smoother what we can do is simply add an adjustment layer and simply put in a brightness and contrast effect to make the transition a little bit smoother this is what it looks like i hope the video was helpful and i hope you find the plugin helpful if you do you might want to learn how to do how to create amazing 3d reels that are really really viral on Instagram right now. So I got this video right there that could that could help you with that. See you guys there.